Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating a navigation drawer in Jetpack Compose. Let me show you the demo. See, when you will click on navigation icon, it will open the drawer. Here we have home, profile, settings and logout. So if I click on profile, we are in profile screen. Same way, settings. And if we click on logout, it will simply throw a toast. Easy, right? It's also gesture enabled. Like this way, also you can open the drawer. Got it? Now, listen to me carefully. First thing, in XML, we usually have a fixed way of creating navigation drawer. But in Jetpack Compose, we have multiple ways to create navigation drawer. Because Jetpack Compose is very flexible. So, if you'll search on internet regarding navigation drawer in Jetpack Compose, you will find different types of code. But the goal will be the same. Like for example, I have used top app bar and modern navigation drawer. Others may have used different. Second thing, the major change that you will see here is no fragments. As I said previously in Jetpack Compose introduction video that there will be no more fragments. Then what will we use? Kotlin Composable file. Also to navigate from one screen to another screen, we will use Nav Controller. I know all of this sounds like a theory, but trust me, everything will make sense to you once we will create our project. Okay? So let's create it. Open Android Studio. Choose Empty Activity. Name it as Learn Nav Drawer. And done. Let's start with the prerequisite. As we will be using Nav Controller, so obviously we need to add its dependency. So go to Gradle, here add the navigation dependency, I have mentioned it in the description box. Click on sync now and done. Then go to color.kt, here I will add green color. And done. Then go to theme, Here I'll make green JC as the primary color of the theme and also status bar color as green JC. And then next navigation drawer will have four items in it. Home, profile, settings and logout. Out of which home, profile and settings will be a screen while logout will only be a toast. Got it? So first let's create three screens. Right click on package. New Kotlin file, name it as home and done. Same way I will create profile as well as settings and done. Now inside each screen we will have a text in the center. That's all. So to do that come to home screen, create a composable function as home and done. Then inside it, let me write the code first. And done. Now see how we used to have surface in main activity. Same way we have a box which will act as a surface. Fill max size, right? Then on that box we have a column that is aligned and arranged in center. With a text as home whose font size is 30 and font color is green JC. And that's it. Also with the help of preview you can see the home screen preview. Same way we will do it for other screens as well. 
So I'll quickly copy paste the code. And done. Now see, we have a profile screen whose center text will be profile only. And same way, setting screens whose center text will be settings. Got it? Now our three screens are ready. Next thing that we need to do is to initialize this three screen as an object in a sealed class. Why? Because we'll be using this three screens as a nav graph in nav host for obviously navigation purpose. So to do that, create a new class. Name it as screens. And done. Now let me write the code first. And then, sealed class means a class that has a predefined and finite set of subclasses. So for us, our subclasses are home, profile and settings. Here, each data object represents a specific screen in an application and is initialized with a corresponding string identifier that is same home, profile and settings. Got it? Now comes the important part. So go to main activity. Here, we will do three things. First is to create navigation door. Second is to create a top app bar and third is to create nav host for navigation. Got it? Let's do it step by step. First, remove the default code and done. Then create a new composable function as learn nav draw. And done. Now inside the composable function, first we will initialize few things such as Nav controller Also, I have already taught you what is remember keyword in one of my previous videos. So if you want, you can go through it. Then initialize coroutine scope. It will be used for open and close of drawer. And nav controller. You already know for navigation. Then drawer state. Initially, the navigation drawer will be set to closed. Then context variable for toast. And then, now for navigation drawer, we use model navigation drawer function. And if you will click on it, you can see its parameter that we can use. So our first parameter will be a drawer state that I have already initialized here. So I will simply write the variable. Then Jetpack Compose provides a new feature for navigation drawer that is gesture. Means just by swiping to the side, it will automatically going to open the navigation drawer. So to use that feature, I will write gestures enabled is equal to true. Then next parameter is drawer content. Here we will have all the items present in it like header, home, profile, settings and all. Also, I have said this thing in every video that please be careful with the brackets. Okay. So inside drawer content, write model drawer sheet. That's a part of it. Now inside it, first we will create a header. You can customize the header however you want, but I will only create a simple box layout. Whose background will be green. Then width will be max and height will be 150 dp. And if you want, you can add a text. I don't want it, so I will leave it as blank. Got it? Below the header, I want a divider, like a line. So for that, I will use divider function. Then below the divider, we will have four items. So to create navigation drawer items, we use navigation drawer item function. Again, if you click on it, you can see all the parameters. 
So for our first parameter is label means the text as home. and color as green jc the next parameter is selected which determines whether the item is selected or not so i'll keep it as false next parameter is icon this is how we write we will give icon here as home Then content description as home only and tint means the color of the icon also as green. Last parameter is on click means what will happen when the user will click on the navigation item or specifically home item. A simple answer will be it will navigate to home screen and also as soon as we click on it the drawer should get automatically closed correct. First, for drawer close, so this is our drawer state which was initially kept as close. Then we clicked on it, opened it, and now to close it back automatically, we need to write the code inside the code routine scope. And inside code routine, keep drawer state as close. Simple. Next, navigation. So write navigation controller dot navigate. Inside it, we need to mention where to navigate. Obviously home screen. So remember we created screen sealed class. There we have initialized all the screens. So write screens as home with screen variable. Then one more thing that when you will click back button, it usually create a stack of screens behind it. So you have to keep clicking back button to reach till the end. That's not a good approach, right? So to avoid that inside it, write pop up as zero means no screen should be left behind so now when you will click on back button it will directly going to exit you from the app got it and our one drawer item is ready same way let me quickly create other drawer items as well and done see we have home profile settings and logout but if you notice here, logout has no navigation. Instead, it throw a toast. Got it? Now our navigation drawer items are ready. Next thing to do is create a top app bar and navigation host. First, we will create a top app bar. See here, all of this inside model navigation drawer function was their parameters. If you will notice here, this is where the bracket closes. And this is where the curly bracket starts for the functionality of model navigation drawer. Means this is where we will write the code for top app bar. But before that, to connect two components, we need to use scarf fold. See, as it says, it can be used with any components like top bar, bottom bar, floating button. Anything will work and it also says that it collects necessary data. So that all of these components will work together correctly. Got it? So R is top bar. Then inside it again we will require drawer state which is supposed to be inside coroutine. So for that I need to initialize coroutine scope. And done. Then below it create a top app bar. I have already taught you how to create a top app bar. It's easy right? So let me quickly create it.
and done. See, few things that need to be noted. First, top bar title as WhatsApp. Then color of the top bar as green. Title color and icon color as white. Then navigation icon. First parameter is icon button and second is icon. So when you will click on that menu button, it should open the drawer. Simple. Then that icon should be hamburger menu. And done. Now last thing is nav host. So outside the scarf full bracket, here create a nav host. If required, suppress the warning. Then inside it, initialize nav controller. Then keep start destination as obviously the home screen. Then inside it, we will write a three composable screens that is home, profile and settings. This composable represents the content to be displayed for each corresponding screen when navigated to. Got it? And that's it. Our navigation drawer is completely ready. Make sure to call it here inside the set content. Also, as we will be using top app bar, so come in this line. Now it's time to run the app. Let's see. When I click on menu, the drawer opens. Perfect. Also, let's check gesture. That is also working fine. Now I'll click on profile and here we are. Then settings. Perfect. And then logout. Look, it throws a toast as logout. Great, right? So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.